Ama buhay everyone, Mark Chess here. Welcome to the channel. And for today's video, I'll be giving you a very surprising basketball sneaker that I have tried. This is the GH3. So guys, if you haven't subscribed yet to this channel, please do so. And of course, follow me on Instagram if you haven't. I am Mark Chess. So guys, what I have here with me in my hand is the all-new GH3 from Anta, which is Gordon Hayward's signature sneaker. And this actually just released here in the Philippines. It was released in China already for a couple of weeks. We are lucky here in the Philippines that I am able to try this pair out because it really was a very nice surprise. So let's talk about why. Let's talk about first the upper of the GH3 and of course this colorway is what they're calling I think Robin and I really like the rose gold color of the sneaker it's not too bright it's, it's kind of muted it's a very unique color in my opinion so as for the upper of the sneaker it features a textile upper on the toe area going to the medial and lateral part of the sneaker plus panels of really nice suede hair here on top that goes through the midfoot of the sneaker while at the back part it's a neoprene like material which is really nicely padded and very nicely fused it's very clean it's a low cut sneaker and as for durability and support in the forefoot the material seems very durable even though it's really soft right off the box it doesn't need that much breaking time so this leather piece actually acts as support and durability around the toe area while on the side part of the sneaker which where a lot of support laterally is coming from because this piece, this leather piece that goes down here is actually a uh, plastic going down here too. So this is what they're calling the harness part. So this is plastic plus this is the harness of the GH. So we'll talk about the harness here. So your harness is when you put your foot in and you pull this, what will happen is your foot will be pulled to the back part, to the heel part of the sneaker and give you a very nice fit to the heel especially. It gives you a very nice fit to the sneaker and you will have an amazing heel containment lockdown and ankle protection around the back part of the sneaker. It goes on both sides of the sneaker and it's not just a gimmick, it works really nicely. And as for the Achilles cushion, it's very nicely padded. There's even like this velvet material inside that looks very premium and gives a little bit of texture so that it helps in the heel containment so that your heel won't slip that much. And as for the insole, it comes with a very nice insole, but it's just a a traditional insole but it's very plush which is nice as for the tongue it's perforated comes with a traditional lacing system you can easily adjust the lacing system of the gh3 the shape of the gh3 in my opinion is nicer compared to the gh2 because the gh2 seems to be a little bit longer so the three and the one has a better fit to the sneaker the trees really fits me nicely the tongue also has some uh, additional elements here there's holes here for design and of course ventilation to the sneaker. It's a very well ventilated upper even though it's textile material. There's a lot of perforation in the upper of the GH3. And now let's move on to the cushion part of the GH3 which really surprised me. It has an A-flash edge carrier. Sorry, there's a lot of terms here in the GH3. A-flash edge carrier. There's a nitro edge foam here in the forefoot to give a very nice bounce back and that bounce back is really really nice on the GH3. The cushion of the GH3 is a lot thicker compared to the KT line. The KT7 is a lot thinner. I'm actually wearing it side by side with my Koi colorway which is also a very dope sneaker but the Nitro Edge foam on the KT7 is a little bit thinner compared to the GH3 A Flash Edge carrier. So there's a lot more cushion on the GH3 and what's nice about it is it is very bouncy in the forefoot. I was really surprised. A very comfortable cushion setup. Plus the impact protection in the heel is very nice too. There's a lot of impact protection around the heel of the GH3. When I was wearing it side by side with my KT7, 
it seems to be or the KT7 seems to be thicker compared to the J3 but on the KT7 you're sitting at the mid part of the Nitro but on the JH3 you're sitting nearly on top of the Alpha Edge so the cushion on JH3 is really nice if you're someone who likes a lot of cushion at the same time there's no delay in the foam it's very responsive I absolutely love the cushion setup of the GH3. It really caught me by surprise. I thought it will be just a so-so cushion. And I really enjoyed playing with the GH3 because of the cushion. I think another thing that helps out in the explosiveness of the GH3 or where it helps with the cushion feel is the stabilizer here. There's a stabilizing plate here that helps in the spring back of the sneaker. Thus, when you're running up and down the floor, you would have a spring back on the forefoot, thus activating the Nitro Edge foam in the forefoot. And upon the photo of the Nitro Edge foam, it feels like, it looks like, it looks like it's a very thick Nitro Edge foam. I absolutely love playing with the GH3. And if that's not enough, the traction, it has the pattern of a racing tire traction and it's not a gimmick. It was squeaking really hard, gripping really hard on the floor, on a dusty and clean court. I really like the traction in it. I stopped on a dime. And as for the rubber compound, it's pliable, but I think it will hold up really nicely for outdoor courts too. It's space enough, and as for now, there's no dust pickup yet, so I think it's okay in dust pickup too. There's a very minimal dust pickup to the sneaker. And as for heel-to-toe transition, I really like the heel-to-toe transition of the GH3. It's not a slapper. It has a very nice curve in the forefoot and the heel. When you're running with the GH3 up and down the floor, it really has a very nice flow when you're running up and down the floor. As for the price of the GH3, it is 5,500 pesos here in the Philippines. So that's around 100 US dollars, guys, for a very awesome performing basketball sneaker and very nice materials. The GH3 really came as a surprise, in my opinion, for this year's basketball sneaker. Shout out for Anta. And of course, I forgot to mention how nice, how wide the forefoot part of the GH3 is. So I'm comparing it with the KT7's width, which is also wide and very stable around the forefoot. It's around the same width. So it's a very stable sneaker. As for the heel, it's almost the same with the KT7 too. So it's a very stable sneaker, guys. And as for sizing, true to size if you're a regular footer. I believe Anta adjusted their sizing right now because on the KT7 and the GH3, I am US 11 too. Before in the KT6, the GH2, I was a full size down, which is a US 10. So if you're a wide footer, go half a size up. But if you're 10 above, your size 10 above, you need to go a full size up because they don't have a half size. But if you can fit it in store, it's available in store here. Better to try it in store first. So that's it on my performance review of the GH3. I really recommend the sneaker, guys, if you are in a budget. It's a very nice performance sneaker. It will be in my rotation and I absolutely love the colorway of this GH3. Let me know what you think about the sneakers. This has been Marches once again. Thank you for dropping by. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.